What's up, everybody? How's it going? Austin Prechtel, Prechtel Vivid Performance, coming at you live. It's Monday. It's Monday. Monday. Beginning of the week. How's everybody doing today? Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are doing well. Yeah, I can't talk today. Hope you guys are doing really well today. Um, this week um, is going to be about the concept of feeling supported, feeling heard. Um, a lot of times people don't feel like that, um, especially when it comes to their fitness journey, their weight loss journey, like, you know, and it comes in a lot of forms. Um, I've, I, in my post today, um, I talked about how like a variety of different scenarios that I have personally like talked to people about. Um, some of them are my clients, some of them um, didn't, end up becoming, didn't end up becoming my clients, um, you know, yet. And, you know, but they had these like, you know, common like, you know, issues of like not feeling heard, not feeling like they were being listened to. Um, and also, you know, sometimes even being told that they were like wrong or like they were, you know, being like a baby or what I don't even know how to like being weak, a sense of weakness or something like that, like that, that they were that that, that was going on, um, that was being like, you know, told to them by these you know professionals and things like that. And so, um, you know, whether it be um, so, that's, so I guess that's what I'm going to be focusing on this week um, and what I'm going to be talking about with a lot of folks um, and what I'm going to be, you know, focusing a lot of my um, content this week on and talking about and these lives are going to be about um, finding that support, um, you know, scenarios where you probably haven't felt like you've been supported in the past, um, whether that be from your doctor, whether that be from a dietitian, whether that be from your spouse, your significant other, your family, um, you know, your personal trainer that you might have had in the past or that you have right now um, that may have burnt you out and, and rubbed you the wrong way when it came to, you know, you trying to lose weight or, you know, be a stronger, more fit version of yourself. Um, and you just had a bad experience with it, or you're currently having a bad experience with it because you don't have the proper support system or you don't have the, you know, you're not being heard right now or listen, or you don't feel like you're being listened to. Um, and I want to talk about that because it's really common. Like it's really common. It's a lot more common than a lot of people realize. Um, and it's unfortunate that that's the case. Um, but I cannot tell, like, like, honestly, like just this in probably in the last like five or six months, um, I've had at least like e easily, I've had like five people, five people tell me that they have worked with a dietitian in the past and they are probably, you know, at least at the bottom end, like 200 pounds up to 300 pounds, 350 pounds, people who are being told by these dietitians that they need to be on a thousand calorie or 1200 calorie diet. And it's like, no way in hell should that be the case. If you're in that category, if you're somebody who's seen a dietitian or like a registered dietitian or whatever, and they're telling you to eat 1200 calories, unless you're like four foot fucking five, you shouldn't be consuming that many, like that low amount of calories. Um, like you just shouldn't be. Um, it's not like sustainable and it's not healthy. And it's just making your life a lot more like difficult when it comes to losing weight. Same concept when it comes to um, like having a personal trainer. If you're having a personal trainer that's beating you into the dirt every single time you're trying to work out and they're just trying to like beat you down and make you like as sore as possible. Like one, you're not going to want to keep on going back to the gym and working out. And you're not going to feel like you're going to like hate it. That's going to be bad. And oftentimes personal trainers that or people that I've talked to that have worked with personal trainers, they just have them do movements that hurt them that, you know, they'll, they'll convey, they'll be like, you know, I've got really bad knee problems or, Oh, I've got really bad lower back problems. And the personal trainer is just like, <laughs> let's do this cookie cutter bullshit and have fun, you know, being ridiculously sore. Um, and, you know, they've told them like I, this, this, this hurts or I, you know, I haven't, I can't do this right now. Um, and they don't listen. Like they don't listen. It's like, it's like, like the, the, the client or the person that's, you know, feeling like they're not being heard. They're saying, saying one thing to like a doctor or a personal trainer or their spouse and it goes in one ear and out the other. And it's like, they never even like, you know, it's like you almost never even told anything to them and so, or said anything to them in the first place. And, it, and that's really frustrating. And that makes people feel like 
hopeless or like what's the point in even like doing this if you know it's it's not for me and all i tell you if you're watching this right now like it is for you like you can find something that is for you in the fitness space in the weight loss space of things you just haven't found it yet and you may have had a shitty experience because guess what just because somebody has a job doesn't mean that they're good at it just like there are people who are terrible at you know i don't know like washing cars or fixing cars or something like that that same concept fucking applies to doctors and dietitians and blah 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 everybody else under the sun there are people who are great at their job there are people who are meh average at their job and there are people who are fucking garbage at their job that applies just because somebody's a doctor doesn't mean they're a good doctor just because somebody's a dietitian doesn't mean they're a good dietitian okay just because somebody's a personal trainer and they spent 24 hours getting a certificate uh from their local commercial gym uh doesn't mean that they're good at being a personal trainer that doesn't mean they know what they're talking about i know a ton of i i don't know them personally but i've heard about a lot of people and i know a lot of like fitness influencers and random people like that out there that you know <laughs> they have they look good or they have a a bunch of like uh, certifications and things like that but they don't know jack shit about nutrition or they don't know jack shit about how to like make somebody a sustainable like program and so uh just keep that in mind like that's a thing like that's a real fucking thing that happens all the time like like it's true like and just because somebody has a title doesn't mean anything um and so you know do your research and like make sure that like like if you're working with somebody and they're having you like do these things or they're saying these things to you or they're not listening to you that's a red flag that's something that you need to be like you know if you're feeling like they're not listening to you, like there's one, there's a difference between like not actually like following like a good plan and, um, you know, not seeing results because you're not actually like taking action, doing what you should be doing. But there's also a lot of like, if the plan is really shitty from the beginning and the get go, you're not going to be able to follow it very well because it's not going to be sustainable and it's going to make you hate your life and it's going to make you quit. So like, you know, you get, there's a, there's, there is a difference between those two things and, you know, a lot of times, like sometimes it's it's the thing where you're just not doing the work and you're not doing it right. And that's in your, you know, it's your mindset might not be in the right place for, for that at that time. But there are a lot of, like a lot of times, the person is just being set up for failure from the get go. And because the person that's helping you, helping you doesn't know what they're doing, or they're not listening to you, or they're not like being like, they're, they're not looking at this from like a big, pic, big, bigger picture approach. So that is like what i'm going to be talking about today and so and i'm also going to be talking about like family and spouses and sometimes it being like almost like a toxic environment for the person who's trying to be in a fitness journey and who's trying to start a, a weight loss journey and so um yeah because sometimes too like you know spouses can be dicks and that <laughs> they can be like sometimes like if if your spouse or, or partner is not being supportive in that in that way and they're like purposefully trying to sabotage your like progress and success um like and they're like doing it kind of like maliciously or like out of like envy or jealousy or whatever like that's not healthy and you need to fix that or you need to probably like start to like think about your relationship with that person um you know a little bit more seriously um because if it's something that you really want and it's something that's good for you and like your health and your mental health um you know I, I hate to say it, but you're probably not in a very good relationship that's not going to be conducive to a lot of other parts of your life that you, you, you know, you need to work on and enjoy. Um, so that's my topic for this week. That's my live for today. Um, just, you know, wanted to preface what I'm going to be, all, you know, throwing out there and laying on you guys uh, in terms of, you know, what I'm going to be covering this week. Because, uh, you know, and I might get heated a little bit in some of these lives this week, but, you know, it's it has to be said and I'm not going to like sugarcoat it. And I'm not going to like, you know, it, I'm just going to tell how it is because there's a lot of people out there who feel like their goals aren't attainable or feel like they're like, you know, they're feeling hopeless or like they're not being listened to, or they're extremely frustrated and it shouldn't fucking be that way. Um, but it is for a lot of people right now. And so I'm going to try and help out and help fix that and help offer some solutions and some ways of going about it. So that way you can talk to these individuals that you're working with or living with or in a relationship with, and you can try to 
you know, present it in a different way and maybe they'll listen to you. Maybe they'll work with you a little bit better. Maybe they'll hear you out. Or if they don't, then fuck them and they can get out of your life because you want to better yourself and, you know, they can either, you know, come with you or they can, they, they can, they can join the journey and join the ride with you or they can, you know, get left behind kind of thing. So, um, and you can find, you know, somebody else that will listen to you and will work with you and will help you out. So cool. Hope that makes sense, everybody. That's my life for today. Um, happy Monday, everybody. Hope you crush your goals, whatever they may be. Um, hope you have a really good rest of your week. I'm going to talk to you all tomorrow um, on my live. If you got value from this, please give it a like. Uh, you know, let me know what your number one takeaway was in the comments down below. And also, if you're watching this later time, give me with the hashtag replay. Feel free to share this with somebody if they if you feel like they need to hear it, if you feel like they need to be, you know, listen to if they're just doing the same shit over and over again and it's not working um maybe it's not their fault maybe it's the system or the plan or the person that is you know helping them out so that's my life for today everybody have a great monday and i'll talk to you tomorrow